If you want to make money with AI, you need to stop trying to sell AI automations or AI agents. You should be focused on building and selling complete AI operating systems instead. And if it sounds too technical, it's not. Anybody can do it. And I make over $130,000 every single month teaching other people how to do it. And after having hundreds of conversations specifically about this stuff, this is the direction that AI automations is heading into. Let me show you what I mean. So I wanna start with the very first problem we have, which is these automations. Now we're in 2025. And that's that actually what these are, selling single automations like this, is basically commoditized time trading, where you're trading your time for money. Now, one year ago, you could basically talk about Airtable and Gmail, and that was so valuable and so rare that people would pay any amount of money for it now. But these AI automation blueprints have effectively become commoditized and most people can kind of do them. So the point is, if you're just selling single file automations, and I see this because I've helped thousands of people now make so much money with these AI automations, effectively what you do is you sell one automation to one client and then that's it. And then you're on to the next one. So you're basically just trading your time for money in building these single file automations. And that kind of brings me actually on to the second thing, which is not only are those projects typically like of lower value. <laughs> Basically, what the way we're at right now in the system is that people who can actually buy these things don't necessarily need you. And I see this all the time where you have like these things like, oh, you know, like, here's like an AI agent. It's like the people that understand what like on your website an AI agent actually is, don't need to pay you to build it because A, they can just learn it to build themselves now because the education is just that great, or they can just hire someone way cheaper, which means that you kind of get this downward pressure. Now, the opportunity is so big still, and it's not out there, but these are market forces that are moving it. That basically just means that selling single file automations like this isn't where the highest leverage opportunity is at the moment. Now, highly repetitive task automation does work really well. I've sold this to a law firm, for example, minimum contract value 25K per year, the automation is run beautifully in the background and it was really cool. But what you find over time, I see this especially with large clients, is that single automations and processes get replaced operating systems and architecture stay there for a long period of time because businesses are complex and they essentially just change over time. An idea here is that you wanna create sticky, long-term relationships with your clients. And the key thing make mistake that everyone's making is you are trying to solve an automation rather than actually solve a business's fundamental problem. Like, hey, I need more clients or hey, I need to convert more clients. And when you're actually aligned and you create an operating system that's aligned with the client's needs, that's how you build long-lasting relationships that pay way more money, get way better clients, and you actually have them for the long term, and it's aligned with the business's future. And that's also why, for example, you have large companies like Microsoft, which are already integrated with many enterprise solutions, that if you build just a single um, whiz -bang solution that does, that say, solves problem X, eventually they integrate it into their product stack. Now they can compete with you on individual automation solves, like, hey, we can summarize a doc. Amazing. What they can't compete with you on are fully intelligent AI operating systems that solve the business's problem. That's where the highest leverage is. So let's cover exactly what I mean by AI operating system. And I'm gonna give you some actual examples and then how you might go about getting clients for these so you can just action them. Now, the thing is this, if you look at this AI automation power cube, essentially with these AI operating systems, what we're trying to do is build flexible, right? I put flex and dynamic operating systems that can bow and stretch the business's needs, but still delivers the thing that they want. Now the AI automation power cube, this is the future. This is the way a good framework for you when you're building automations, right? You have, on the one hand of it, an AI. This is the brain of the operations, right? Like ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, this is the powerful thing. As AI gets better, your systems get better. Then we have automation. These are no-code platforms like NA10, Make, and Zapier. That lets us connect things like Gmail to Airtable to send anything you want to, to call people, loads of really cool things. Then we have the database. So these are really simply just where do we store the data? Like for example, if you check out this one I've got here, which is loads of interesting Instagram data, but we need a place to store it, right? As and when we go and do different things. And then finally, we've got a front end. I can tell you from my last startup that I, that I exited and scaled, the front end makes a huge difference. Like it needs to be something engaging and visual. You want in some respects, all four of these components to create a system. And crucially, what we're saying here, it's not just like a, here's an automation. Effectively, we're stacking multiple them together to create a system that's the key thing and then that system itself right all points down to a beautiful gorgeous front end that the client can interact with right and then on the left hand side we've got data data storage right which is the database section here and it basically stacks credit this beautiful thing so you can end up with and i'll show you this as an example dashboards that show the social media growth and then we have 
uh, interactivity where they can create content. And then we've got full automations that do turn to voice. And then that leads on to beautiful things like creating content for Instagram, for X, for LinkedIn. And so fundamentally what we're doing guys is we're creating beautiful automations and we are wrapping them in gorgeous interactive dashboards that the user can see. If I say, great, we've built a system to help increase your growth. I can see YouTube, I can see Instagram, I can see follow, I can see my, uh, all these different social media platforms and I can see the growth over there. So in terms of who, you, who you're actually targeting, you can go lower ticket, in other words, like lower price, but they wanna be very, very, very high margin. So for example, coaching businesses are a really good example of that. They're typically smaller, they can do like one to five million in ARR, but they have extremely high margins and it is a great accelerant. If not guys, you typically wanna be shooting for somewhere between five to a hundred mil in annual recurring revenue. Why? Because the actual prices, what you're gonna charge for the services are comparatively extremely low. The other really good benefit, by the way, of building systems out, like we're talking about here with all the beautiful dashboards and things like that, is that you can actually command higher prices because the problem, for A, you are closer to the problem, there's you, there's the problem. <laughs> so basically, you're as close as humanly possible to it. And the value deliver actually compounds now because you're delivering a system, not just a one-off automation. Remember, even when I sold that automation for law firm, I was solving a bigger, broader problem, and you just wanna connect yourself as closely as possible to that. And this means that you can now charge pricing for an operating system, for an infrastructure, not just a single automation. So to confirm, an AI operating system has AI it has no code solutions, it has multiple automations. It can flex around the actual need that the business have. Like I am struggling to keep my customers, I'm struggling to grow my customer base, I'm struggling with X, I'm struggling with Y. And it has a beautiful front end that they can interact with, which we build on Bolt or Lovable Software and databases included in that. So now let's take a look at some beautiful examples of what this physically looks like. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple. One, first of all, is a lead nurturing system. In fact, before I do that, let me show you one that's really cool, which is basically, a social media growth engine. So say for example, someone says, hey, um, we are spending you know, $10,000 a month on a social media marketing team and we're not happy with it. Well, we could build, in that case, a full social media system, a full social media operating system, right? Which as you've seen previously, A, now we've got a beautiful dashboard that tracks everything. This is connected to NA10 via a webhook. And the way that you do that, guys, as I've got many tutorials, you come down here and you basically say something like, hey, I would like to connect the data and send the information to this webhook. Very simple. You come over to um, you know either NA10 or make.com. These are just simply no-code automation builders. You come over here, you can just type in something like webhook. Um, you click this, you click on post, and you copy that. And then you come back over, guys, um, and then you paste that. And essentially what this will do is send the information over to the scenario. And that's how you connect these beautiful front ends to all your scenarios. So we have like a dashboard, right? The other thing we might have here is something that they can use to create content where they can select their tone of voice. They can go through and write the topics I wanna to talk about. Like I could say, hey, I wanna talk about dentistry or whatever it is I wanna talk about, right? When that's done, we can go through a system like this, which like I told you with the webhooks, we capture it, we have an AI agent that ruthlessly searches the internet for that. So let's just say, for example, I wanna post on LinkedIn, I wanna talk about dentists, I want ABC. This agent here will go out and ruthlessly research the, the internet for that topic. Like, what is the five things that are happening right now in terms of whatever the topic that you gave it, right? So all you do is give it an idea, tell it who your avatar is, and you're ready to rock and roll. Then, based on the platform, it goes down one of four routes. So, so it goes down the Instagram route. We have three agents that create three different separate articles, and then we use the new ChatGPT API to create a beautiful image. So you end up with, for example, this fantastic image in any style that you want to with three beautiful examples that then come back to the user in that actual front end dashboard. And I've done a full video on this. I'll put a link on screen so you can actually, if you wanna build that, just as an example, right? Then we may say to them, well, look, we've got the dashboard, right? We've got the beautiful dashboard. We've got the uh, content creation engine. Maybe next thing we wanna do is show you data about your competitors. So for example, this one here could be your uh, inspiration builder. So you don't know what to do. Well, what if we could just scrape every single you know, uh, real or like LinkedIn post or Facebook post or Instagram, whatever it is, and give you the information about how many views did it get? Uh, how many likes did it get? How many comments did it get? What were the captions? Um, what's the transcript? What if I wanna watch the video? And then you can use that to inform, actually these are the outliers. In other words, hey, look at this one. Like this one here has got 15,000 likes. What is it about? Oh, well, this one is about X, Y, Z, right? It's about presentations or something cool. So that might be some content inspiration for you to think about, I'm gonna do that. So you can see now how these all connect 
act together in terms of a system. And on top of that, we also add in tone of voice. I've just come through to my community in the classroom section uh, and I look at the tone of voice, right? We then build up full tone of voices for our clients connected to the system. Like there's one for Alex Ramosi, for example, vocab and word choice, grammatical patterns, punctuation, rhetorical devices, paragraph. This is all trained on, we gave it a book. And from that, I ran it through this automation. Uh, excuse me, this automation right here, which again, a, an agent per thing, an agent for punctuation, an agent for sentence structure, an agent for rhetorical devices, and so on and so on and so forth, until you get, I mean, this one I showed you right here, guys, is a very light version. That version will give you about 10x the length. It's really freaking cool. Uh, it's just right there. So that's an example of a full social media growth system it's connected to actually delivering it. And they've got a dashboard to do things. And we can also layer into that things like, 11 labs where they can have conversations with us. For example, this one here is a website that I rebuilt in Liverpool and you can even have a conversation with it, come down, accept, and have a chat like this. Like how insane is this, for example? Hey there, I'm Archer from Yorkshire Dental Suite. How can I? And we, we built that in like 20 minutes. Another example that you could use as well, just to give you some kind of idea. And then after that, I'm gonna show quickly how you'd actually physically get these clients. What does that structure look like? You could do a lead nurturing system which says, hey, I wanna get more customers, cool. So one thing is to build, I guess level one would be to use a platform like Appify and just give them a load of needs. But what if we could actually systematize the entire thing? So we'd start off with the great, wherever leads coming from, like, you know, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and we may build, first of all, the first system, which is the great, let's get you more leads at the top end. And now we've got that working, we can see the data, that's great. So the leads are going up, phenomenal. Once that's done, then we start to capture it. So then what we do is we build a uh, single landing page or maybe go high level or car.co or something where we capture some information, their name, their email, their phone number, their business. Once we've done that capture section, first of all, if they book an appointment, we can automatically calendarize that. The second thing that we could do, um, even before we go to the CRM personalize is based on their information, we can create for them bespoke um, lead magnets, right? So if I come in and I say, hey, I'm running a business, I'm making 20K per month, I do X, Y, Z, I wanna to scale to 50K per month, they can be like, incredible. Well, actually, Jack, based on your location, based on this, based on that, we've created for you a beautiful dynamic PDF, which is gonna to go to and solve your needs straight away, so you get some upfront value, right? So that's, oh, that's system number one. Then the other system is to add them into your CRM, and then based on their information, we can send them down multiple routes. Maybe we send them down, you know, if they're high value, mid value, or low value, they go down different routes to start getting personalization. They start getting um, value added, like warming up sequences, for example. And then you may do lead enrichment, which is, hey, we've got Mrs. Higgins. <laughs> Mrs. Higgins over here lives over here. She does X job for Y people. Let's go forth and let's search the internet. Let's lead enrich on LinkedIn. Let's just get our database and fill it full of information about Mrs. Higgins so we know more. So our sales calls are more effective so we can actually market more appropriately. Then you may go down and confirm and qualify. So we build an A voice agent in retail, like I did up up that video on screen here, where this voice agent calls him, says, hey, Ms. Higgins, what's up? We've got a call with you happening tomorrow at 2, 2 p.m. Just wanna make sure you're ready to rock and roll and confirm that appointment with you, Mrs. Higgins. And she's like, Jack, I was born ready for this conversation. I'm so ready for this conversation. Awesome, so what does that mean? It means now that no-show rates have gone down. Remember, ultimately, we have these four things, right? We have laps. It's called leads, it's appointments, it's presentations, and sales, okay? Classically, I have 100 leads, right? And of those 100 leads, let's say 50 people want appointments. And of those appointments, only 20 people show up, and then let's say we get 10 sales, right? So if I can actually get more people who book the appointment to turn up, I get that from 20 to 40, if I could double it, my entire business doubles, right? So to go from appointments to presentations, this is why system's so important, guys. Well, we've added this, we've got the confirm and qualify aspect to our system now, right? Plus all the other 17 things we're doing before this, by the way. I mean, I'm, I'm just giving you like an, an overview, you can see what I mean when I say operating system of the stuff that sells. Guys, and then you've doubled that, but so you can see how you start to connect these things together and it makes a really significant impact for the business. You've got to think in terms of operating system. And then we've got communication. So we know, for example, WhatsApp has a 98% open rate. It is insane. And then we can build out systems that comes and you can have agents that run that. So when you connect these things together, you get an operating system that drives real true value for these businesses. So how do you actually do this? Okay, so first thing you're gonna do from a technical point of view is you are going to uh, learn no-code automation. If you're a complete beginner, I would recommend that you begin with make.com because it's very visual, it's engaging and easy to do. Then you wanna understand and start playing around with these front-end developers like Livable and you connect them together using a webhook. There's so much resources on the channel for that. If you wanna go deeper, we've got the community, we're kicking some butt and then we've got databases and storing that in things like Airtable. Then practically, how would you actually turn these into clients? All right, let's have a little think about some of the systems here. Step one would be million dollar niche. This is a niche ideally with high margins, they need to be super valuable. Basically with the million dollar niche, um, 
you want to think about your superpowers, so what are you uniquely positioned for, and pick something that is easy to locate uh, and be as specific as possible. The overall arching principle is the niche you go, the faster you actually grow. Once you've done that, you want to achieve resonance. That is speaking to clients, working with a couple of these clients for free. That conversation might sound something like, hey, just so you know, guys, I've been in this industry for 10 years. I'm an AI automator. I'm really obsessed with this. I'm looking for two to three clients to work with completely for free. The only thing I ask is if I blow your mind and rock your world for a free testimonial. Typically, we see roughly 40 to 50% of these clients turning to pay anyway, but ultimately the most important thing is the data. It's like, what's your biggest pain point? If I had like 10 things that are a big issue for you and I could just get rid of one of them, what is that for you? What you get paid in data and knowledge and testimonials is worth way more than money. Then we start to work on your killer offer. Like what is an offer so incredibly good they couldn't say no to? We start building that lead magnets. This is the whale strategy. High amount of effort, low number of clients through a couple of channels. We build custom lead banks to solve problems. We've already got testimonials in our pocket, so it's super easy. Then we start the whole process of getting customers. Actually, guys, you'd be surprised how quickly this problem gets solved. And then you're more focused on how do I actually service all these amazing customers? And then we think about systems, cash collection. How do we price these offers properly? What does that look like? What's the onboarding system look like? And at that point, you're absolutely kicking ass. If you found this video helpful, guys, YouTube thinks that you're gonna find this video on screen somewhere helpful. If you wanna go deeper, faster, quicker, you want the full support from me and the team, you can check out the school community. I'll put a link down below. But in any case, have a beautiful week and I'll catch you in the next video.